Around the country, thousands gathered and protested at Invasion Day rallies. We have established here today to call for the government to abolish Australia Day. In Canberra, AFP officers struggle to hold back demonstrators, with the front of Parliament closed off as a protest march reached the doors. This year, Invasion Day organisers invited Palestinian speakers to share the national spotlight. I think it's pretty obvious why we're staunchly standing with Palestinian people. And it's because we know what they're going through. Much like Palestine always was and always will be Palestinian land. This was the first major gathering since last year's failed referendum and emotions ran high. We're marching for a black future. We're marching for redemption from a failed referendum. We're demanding that white Australia come to the table and actually engage with us in authentic ways. Issues of poor health care, land rights and youth incarceration all featuring in speeches. A lot of us are born into racism. That's the reality. A lot of us are born into poverty. That's the reality. But this government, they criminalise poverty. Every government in the history of Australia has failed Aboriginal people. Invasion Day is our day of remembrance. It is a day we honour the people we no longer have standing with us. Elsewhere, families gathered in a more relaxed setting, others holding Survival Day events. Here in Sydney, high temperatures didn't deter thousands from showing up. The mood here is emotional and energised as protesters demand a new era for Indigenous rights. Carly Williams, ABC News, Sydney.